Good day everyone, I am Matt Harrison and you are listening to the first Vamos A of the 2023-2024 season. This is not Vamos A, La Rosaleda, this is Vamos A, ah, bugger, I've forgotten the bloody name of the stadium, and I've even been here before, um, yeah, take two. Good day everyone, I am Matt Harrison and you are listening to the first Vamos A episode of the season. Um, I'm a long way from La Rosaleda, um, I'm not even near where Malaga are playing in two days time. I am still in San Sebastian, as some of you, you will be aware, I spent my summer uh, 52 days walking across Portugal and Spain, I started in Lisbon walked to San Sebastian and I thought well why not carry on to France um, so I did that because um, uh, that's what normal people do I believe um, but I'm now in San Sebastian bus station which is possibly the hottest bus station I've ever been in my life and it's not even that hot outside actually it is mad here um, but yeah it's uh, 9 o'clock at night um, I'm getting a bus overnight to Valencia so I'm going to try and sleep on the bus because I'm going to watch Malaga play this weekend. Um, it's a Thursday, so I've got tomorrow night in Valencia. I fucking love Valencia, so excited for that. Um, so this is Vamos a Nueva... Uh, what's, it, what's it called? Oh, bloody hell, I've got it wrong again. New Estadi Castellia. I've got it this time. Um, you can keep the sort of... Um, the cock-up cut in if you want. Um, don't know why I'm saying that. I'm the guy that edits it. Um, let's keep it in. That would be humorous, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, uh, uh, bus at quarter past nine, get to Valencia about six o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, excited. Um, we, I'm sure there'll be more analysis and stuff throughout. Um, cast the on an interesting team. I will talk on them as we get there. Um, I, you know, I'll just, I'll just say what I said on the pod this week. Uh, San Sebastian, Water City. Visit San Sebastian, amazing. Um, anyone that lives here and is a Real Sociedad seems to be all very jealous of. My brother once was, actually, my brother was the season ticket holder here when David Moyes was the manager. I've got a real soft spot for Real Sociedad and very happy to visit San Sebastian. But now I'm heading towards the bus because I'm a Malaga fan. I want to go watch Malaga play in the third division. Well, I wish they went in the third division. But I know what's Mario playing in the third division against Castellón. Vamos! So it's good morning now. Um, I arrived in Valencia a couple of hours ago, um, which tells you how early I've arrived because it's not even 10 a.m. yet. Um, yeah, the bus was earlier than anticipated, so a lot of hanging about this morning. But uh, I've dumped my stuff in a hotel. Um, I can I can't check until later. Uh, I'm gonna go and try and buy some tr- trainers because I don't really want to wear my flip flops in the football tomorrow, just in case you know they have limbs, and I don't want to lose my toes. Um, and I can't wear my walking shoes; they are devastated. Um, and it'd be a bit weird wearing them there. Um, this probably is some sort of like mirror in there though maybe like you know the whole doing a pilgrimage thing the pilgrimage of a football season and the hardship that comes with that with Malaga um yeah anyway uh, um I sort of said it a lot yesterday um Valencia what a city um it's my fourth time here just walking through I forgot I was like oh yeah there's that neighborhood over there that bit's good oh this I forgot about this bar so as I was walking through the centre today, um, very ornamental Valencia as well, um, big and ornamental. Um, I'm excited for this afternoon and some beers. It's very hot down here as well. Obviously, I've been in the north of Spain for the best part of a month now. Um, 
it's hot up there but a different sort of hot this is Mediterranean hot um, yeah so I don't know if I'll record anything else from Valencia there's not going to be too much to say I think until tomorrow or maybe I'll do something a bit this evening um, football tomorrow it's you know this this is the start of the Coronada in Spain below I guess not in our division because I don't think there's any kickoffs on Fridays in our division but you know it all feels good exciting real vamos I'm trying to uh, keep this football-y. I'm still in Valencia. It's about what's it, half five on Friday night. Um, I'm at what I call the Italian football fountain in the middle of Valencia in this sort of weird circular... I was going to say circular square. Does that make sense? I suppose in wrestling you have the square circle. Um, this is where I watched the Euro 2020-2021 slash final um, and not in one of those sort of ooh, Welsh person trying to wind up English people but um, the, it was loads of Italians here um, watch the final in the square with them it's like this as well like I said circular structure um, and obviously Italy won and they're all in this fountain and I'm right by an arm so if you can hear the water I'll go a bit closer um, this fountain got absolutely decimated with Italian bodies and it was great um Hopefully, similar limbs tomorrow night at Castellón with the Malaga fans. Um, do you know what? Valencia is really, really underrated, I think. It's the third biggest city in Spain. Um, I don't know that many people go, oh, have you been to Valencia? It's amazing. Um, I've been to Valencia and I think it is absolutely amazing. It's my fourth time, I think. I absolutely love Valencia. It's not your typical sort of here's a centre of Valencia party sort of place it's also spread out a bit but you sort of, I don't know, it keeps unveiling more of itself as you walk through I find um, yeah, brilliant, like definitely you know, I think flights are easy for most, like I guess most of our listeners from the UK I think it's not that hard to get here um, loads of football clubs nearby with Levante Villarreal and of course Valencia where I'm going Sunday and, and of course Castellón I didn't say that um, definitely a good football weekend though, I think Alicante's down the road as well of course Benidorm I'm going to Benidorm uh, Monday um, yeah I, I've sort of done my plugs for San Sebastian now I'm switching visit Valencia So it is now, uh, it's Christmas Day basically, isn't it? It's the start of the season for Malaga. Um, this is what we've all been waiting for. Well, I don't know. Uh, have we been waiting for this first game in the third division? I don't know. I am aboard an Ave train going from Valencia to Castellón as we speak. Um, I'm in the bar, unsurprisingly, although they call it cafes here. Not like when I lived in Slovakia and they were these sort of riotous sort of to know how to explain the trains in Slovakia there would just be old men passed out in a corner with shot glasses around them it was it was like a sort of moving dive bar slash nightclub at times but anyway uh, much more gentrified here in Spain um, yeah it is I'm, I think I'm about 15 minutes from Castellón um, so match day is underway I've got some beer as well I've got a can of Cruz Campo and I know people get very emotional talking about Cruz Campo I don't really find it that bad I can't say I love it, the other option was Heineken and I hate Heineken, I can't drink Heineken, uh, I've just come from Valencia where quite a lot of places sell um, Aguila which I think is horrible as well um, so Cruz Campo is fine with me um, yeah, Castellón soon I can't remember being particularly enamoured with Castellón when I went in April it was fine, you know it had bars, had a cathedral um, when I was like looking at things earlier actually trying to think what is Castellón famous for it's like oh there's lots of outdoor activities around and I was like well yeah that's Spain that's anywhere in Spain oh there's a cathedral yeah that, that's Spain oh you know it's famous for its seafood oh, Spain it's just a generic Spanish town from what I remember um, oranges oranges are their thing um, that is something distinctive I think I think they call it the orange capital 
Um, yeah, so there's my sort of Judith Chalmers travel fact there. Um, nice coastline though. I like this part of the world. I'm going to have to find an excuse to come back because I will be seeing Valencia tomorrow. Seeing been to Levante. I can go watch Villarreal, I guess. I've been there to watch the B team, but I haven't been there to watch the, the real boys. Maybe that's my excuse to come back. Um, yeah, more ramblings to follow, I imagine. Um, nine and a half hours to kick off. Um, I don't know how insightful things will be by kick off, as ever, really. I don't think I've ever exactly been Gary Neville on these things. So I'm now in my uh, sort of uh, James Richardson spot in the the main square of Castellon where it's sort of just quieting down a little bit. Um, I guess well, it's half two, so yeah. We're still sort of, we uh, are in lunchtime, so it is a bit quieter than planned. Uh, seen quite a few Malagistas already. Um, shout out to them and sort of all of us shout at each other, just shouting vamos, which is always nice. Um, yeah, I'm confused by some things because some little old lady sort of came up to me and started shaking her fist and I thought, oh no, I'm being attacked by um, some old lady Castellon Ultra and then started beating her chest and say, essentially saying, like, come on Malaga, beat, beat them. Um, and I think she was a local. Um, and I've seen someone else tweet as well that quite a few of the locals are saying, we hope Malaga win today. Um, so I don't know if it's... Uh, you know, Villarreal fans or Valencia fans. Um, yeah, because I seem to remember last time I was here, Castellon is it's a bigger club than people realise, um, or has a bigger fan base than people realise anyway. It, uh, um, I think I read somewhere they broke the record when they were in the fourth division. They had more season ticket holders than anyone ever in the history of the fourth division. Um, I think they beat uh, Real Oviedo's record as well. So it's, you know... There are fans here, and I seem to remember when getting near the stadium in April, everyone was in black and white. So, um, yeah, I don't know why that is, why, why people are encouraging us, but we uh, we welcome we welcome the uh, Animo. Um, yeah, it's it was 38 degrees when I arrived. It's cooled a bit. Um, I'm having some beer, then I am going back to a hotel just to sort myself out a bit and then I'm going to an Irish pub actually because there's for all my travels over the last two months I've not really been to many Irish pubs and I've not watched any Premier League football yet so I just quite fancy watching some Premier League football um, I'm meeting one of the um, guys from the Geary Army there so nice more to come as it happens Just in case things get um, a little bit ropier later, it's now quarter past three, so still uh, six hours and a bit till kickoff. Um, I'm going back to my hotel now just to freshen up before defreshing in the heat and alcohol of Castellon. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, Castellon's going to be... Castellon got some interesting... Actually, I'm not even joking. I'm sure I just felt rain. That can't be right. It's definitely... It's, it is a bit cloudy overhead. Maybe it is. There's definitely a little drizzle coming here. Oh, God. I don't want to be in the stadium in a storm. It's definitely... There's no buildings above me. There's definitely drops of rain, which would be quite nice, actually, for, for a bit. Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, um, Castellon. Um, really, story to follow is the their manager, Dick. Dick Schroeder. I think that's how you say his name. I'm sure Chris will correct me. Schroeder, Schroeder. A Dutch manager, mad career. Um, managed Barnett. He was there with Edgar David. Um, and then he's been assistant manager at places like Philadelphia Union and Vitesse Arnhem. I feel like he's... Um, it's been somewhere else quite cool as well, but like he's created his reputation for himself at his hometown Barneveld, um, as like producing all these like amazing young players. And then last year he was at uh, oh god, Dutch pronunciation is getting uh, Zwolle, 
um, he took them up to the Eredivisie and like apparently playing amazing football and he's left to go to Castillo so I don't know what the full story that is there but uh, they have got themselves a, a very gifted manager by sound of it by the way for a link to any Giri's he played three games or two three for Stoke in the 90s but I think he was one of those ones that knees not working etc um, they've also got Christian Christian uh, what was his name um, God what was it Christian Rodriguez yeah yeah, Cristiano Rodriguez, the guy that played for Malaga a couple of years ago in the pay you um, He sort of had like a, looked like a wand of a left foot and then it sort of turned into um, uh, Ron Weasley's wand in uh, Chamber of Secrets, which malfunctioned a lot. Nice Harry Potter reference there. Um, I quite liked him actually, but um, well, yeah, I liked him for half a season and then it fell apart. Um, they got this weird um, Puerto Rican called uh, Jeremy De Leon, um, who's got really distinct ginger curly hair, but I believe he's not fit. Um, we'll see later. Um, I'm sure there was another like quite cool story. They got, I think they got another Dutch fella who's like got under twenty one caps for Holland. I think his name was Bars. I did look at the team a couple of days ago. Um, but yeah, like like they should have gone up last year. They got to the playoff final, lost to Alcocon. Uh, um, you know they were they were built to go up really. So this is not going to be easy today, as far as I can tell. They've kept a lot of that team too. Um, yeah, we'll do more Malaga chat as as it gets a bit closer. But uh, this is not going to be easy today, I don't think. Um, anyone that sort of expected Malaga to come into this league and have a lovely time there. Um, hopefully I can, you know, I don't think that's going to happen, but uh, hopefully I can contradict myself later and we can go, stupid Welsh twat. Of course Malaga are going to win the league, that's hopefully what we can all say later, but uh, yeah. Uh, um, it's not stopped, it didn't start raining, but it was definitely liquid falling from the sky. Hope, hope it wasn't bird shit. It's not bird shit, it just looked. Um, there was quite, yeah, there was a few drops. Um, weather chat, eh? I mean, Alex Ashmore territory here. A very, uh, a very United Kingdom of me. Um, anyway, hotel. So we're now just over two hours away, or say three hours away from kickoff almost because I forgot it's half nine. Um, I said earlier I could feel little spits of rain. Um, the sky turned grey about an hour ago, it is now hammering down, there's thunder and lightning overhead. Um, we have taken refuge in a bar about 10 minutes from Castellon Stadium, and by we, I mean I'm joined by fellow Giri and Giri Army member, Stephen. Stephen, this is your first Malaga away day. How are you feeling? How are you enjoying Castellon? Castellon's a very nice place, very friendly people, apart from the storm we've got now. Yes. <laughs> And I hope it clears before kickoff. Yeah, I've just said hopefully it gets all out of this system now. Um, usually, Stephen, when we get people on this that we've not he he uh, heard their voice before, we say, Why Malaga? You're in front of me in a Malaga shirt. You've got a Malaga scarf dangling from your shorts. So, why are you here in Castellon? What is your Malaga story? I, I first came just before Covid. And since then, I've got a season ticket. I'm a member of the Guri Army, and they are the best days out. It's better than staying at home watching English football. And you're a Norwich fan, yeah? Yes, I'm a Norwich fan. Yes, and they and they are second in the league as we speak. Indeed, <laughs> they are. So the big question is, what was better, La Rosaleda or Cavo Road? La Rosaleda. <laughs> Good answer for a Malaga podcast. Um, you told me earlier you don't really care about the players and things like that, which is cool. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to give me sort of Gary Neville-esque analysis here, but um, how are you feeling about the game? What's your sort of vibe? Well, I think we're going to win about 3-0. The, well, like the, <laughs> the players have now got something to prove to wear the shirt. Good answer. So, as always, when we get someone new on, we always say, can you just finish with a Vamos Malaga? Vamos Malaga. Vamos. So, we're outside Castillon Stadium, the storm has subsided, um, 
I'm now with uh, Malaga Juan. Fran, Juan. I didn't forget. Um, Why did you interrupt me? I, I didn't forget sorry, your name. Sorry, sorry. I'm with Juan. I'm a professional, you know, even though I've had a few beers. Um, Juan, how are you feeling? Really good. And I'm Juan from the 300 from Barcelona. Okay. Oh, I mean... We're not coming from Malaga. We're coming no. from Barcelona. I was at the Andorra game. Was you at that? We were, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. Um, we're all in... A Castillon a Peña bar, I think, which kind we've, of, all, yeah, yeah. we've all signed up. So we're all. Whatever you do, they're super nice to us, you know? They're yeah, yeah. It's super well. We've all signed up. We're all, we all love Castillon now, but uh, we, we, we survived the storm. Um, let's go out to football. Juan, how are you feeling about tonight's game? Are you confident? How I'm do you feel? Really looking forward to it. But I know it's the 14 new players, so I know it's a tough one. But I'm really confident. I think we can make it. One, two. We, oh, we, Kevin, because it's a joke in our podcast. Is I love Kevin too much. <laughs> Kevin's the man, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> good, good, good answer. Good answer. Um, is this your girlfriend, wife? My wife. My wife. wife. Um, she speaks English. So you can okay, so your life. wife, your wife's filming us um, while we're doing this. So, so wife, um, how do you feel? I feel confident. I think we're gonna go home with her. And yeah, I don't. Sorry if I get this wrong. I don't think you're Spanish. No, no, I'm from no. Estonia originally. Oh, amazing. So, apologies that you've ended up sporting Malaga, I guess. Um, how do you feel about today? <laughs> like I say, I feel confident. I think having survived the storm and everything, something... Literally the storm, yeah. Something good has to come our way, yeah? <laughs> Vamos Malaga. So... We're in the floodlight, um, in the shadow of the floodlights of uh, Castillon Stadium. I'm joined by Gary Cast Legend. I'm going to get his name right this time because I've just got it wrong. Um, Alberto, no, Sergio, hey! Sergio. Um, You're the one I'm wait, okay from home, my God. Wait as much here hey, between the two clubs. Malaga is the primera. Wait, 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 wait as here between the two clubs. Top atmosphere here. The two clubs are really doing a great atmosphere and we are really happy to be here all together. Hope this is the first match to come back to the second division. He is teacher of English yeah. Yeah. in the school. Yeah, I, I, I. <laughs> So, Sergio, really quickly, how do you feel about the game today? <laughs> I don't know, but the beer is really good. It's <laughs> bilingual, my bro. How do you call uh, but Charlie, so fun but Charlie, I am a TikToker of, of Malaga Club of Football. Okay, TikToker Malaga Club of Football. Um, so now we're going to do English. Now you've caught me off guard after I've had a few beers. Um, how do you feel about the game today? Are you excited? Are you confident? I speak Spanish. Hablo, hablo español. Yeah, I'm, I'm boss. Vale, vale. Uh, uh, yo siento que el Malaga hoy gana. Malaga is win today and the result is uh, 0 for 2. Um, the goals, uh, goals, it's uh, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Yes. Kevin. Uh, a la rubia, David la rubia. No, 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 David la rubia is, um, yeah. Um, this... Um, I should say, by the way, for people who are listening to the Gary cast here, they say, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know some people know it. Um, this is being recorded on some Instagram channel. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to tell me the Instagram channel. I can't read it. My eyes are gone. Charlie, bro. Um, but uh, what? Um, porque, um, 
Uh, um, porque. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin está um, tu jugador favorito. Ah, eh, porque es un jugador que tiene muchísimo hambre y. Fuck, que me... ¡Fucking Castellón! <laughs> No, Castellón, me gusta Castellón. Castellón, paella, free, free paella. Pa Castellón, paella de arroz. Yo tengo, no. yo sé lo mismo de inglés que tú so, de alemán. No, me gusta Castellón. No, eh, Tus aficionados. My player is, is Kevin, for, is, the, is the best player. Jugón, jugón. Jugón, jugón. Jugón. Uh, uh, I like Kevin because es un jugador con mucho hambre, con garra, que lucha. Sí, pero uh, bueno. Very, very good, very good, very good, very, very good, very well, very well, Manuel. A ver, no. Okay. Um, muchas gracias. Vamos, Málaga. Um, esto. So, we're underneath the floodlights of uh, New Estadi Castellia. I'm joined by my new friend Arturo. Arturo, I was going to say Alvaro, and I knew that wasn't right. Um, Arturo, you've got a lovely pink Malaga shirt on there. Um, how are you feeling about the game? Uh, I'm excited. It's my my first match for of Malaga, uh, not in Malaga, and I'm. I'm oh, really? Your first yeah, away yeah. game? Oh, amazing. I, I'm not from Malaga. I'm from another city, from Jaén. And it's my first match out of Malaga, so I am very excited to watch it. So, do you go to many home games? Yeah, yeah, I am. Season thing. I, yeah, I have the season pass, yeah. And you're from High End? From High End, yeah. Oh my god, what a legend you are. <laughs> that, that, that's for people that don't. Do you drive there? Uh, no, I, I have been by bus, by bus here. That's uh, just for people that don't know. That is a hard journey. Fair play to you. I, yeah. I will shake your hand once I finish recording. <laughs> um, Are you um, how, how confident are you about the game today? Uh, it's it's a difficult a difficult team, Castellón, but I I think we can we can win. I don't know, but this is the first game. The team is uh, it's not yet complete, so let's see how it will be. You told me that you follow the Gary Cast on Twitter, but you said yeah. you don't listen, which is fine. Yeah, um, but, that's, that's true. but but the joke on our podcast is that um, I'm obsessed with Kevin. Kevin. So are you? A uh, it's, it's a magician. The, magi <laughs> the magician. Kevin is a magician. It's very nice. Oh, I think we need to go have a photo. We need to have. A okay. Okay. So I'm in Castellón Stadium now. Um, Malagrens filling up. Um, just seen the starting eleven. I uh, know Kevin, heart breaks. Um, quite interesting, actually. Everyone I spoke to pre-match seemed to love Kevin, which I don't know, goes against the grain of our podcast. And um, Roberto, start, I like Roberto, so um, I hope he has a good game. Um, yeah, I'm looking at... Actually, uh, this is exactly pretty much where I sat when I was at Castellón the other day. What, what, what a stadium, by the way. It's obviously night time now, so now it's beautiful. The rain has subsided. Um, I'll just quickly ask Stephen next to me. Stephen, now you're in the stadium. How are you feeling? Very confident. I think we're going to win 3 0. And this is your first Malaga away game. Um, you sort of looked starry eyed and excited um, in the bar beforehand. Did you enjoy those pre match drinks? Very, very enjoyed it so much. So much, so much friendliness from the away fans and home fans. Very good day. It, that was indeed. Actually, it's probably my favourite pre-match Malaga game. Well, maybe ever. It was mad, and uh, the sort of Malaga fans chanting Castellón and Castellón fans chanting Malaga. But now we hate each other. Um, we need to win. Um, vamos. I'm trying to get caught up in all the atmosphere and stuff. Um, we're a few minutes into the game, but I'm trying to learn who these players are. Because um, I have a new podcast on the first season. So uh, I'm trying. As you can hear, there's a lot of distractions. I'm smiling. So it is 1-0 uh, to just uh, A couple of minutes ago, they scored. Uh, oh, 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 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 Awful pass from, I think, uh, Joaquin. Um, Bia, Castillon scored shot. Good save from Herrero, I think. And they scored the rebound. But uh, not much going on with 16 minutes in, according to the clock. Um, but nothing for Malaga to be excited about so far. I'm still trying to learn who these players are. Um, and I see as good as you can hear. Okay, so Malaga, I've just made it 1-1. One, one. Um, Sabatel, <laughs> um, I, I met you outside La Rosaleda a few months ago. Um, how are you finding this Malaga game so far, far with five minutes for half time? Well, I mean, I mean it's a bad match. Uh, Malaga started Same. very, very, very poor match. Uh, Castellón deserved the goal and we, uh, uh, with some luck, uh, I mean it was a, uh, a lucky action, we get the penalty, we miss the penalty, but Genaro, surprisingly Genaro... Was it Genaro? Was Genaro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was Genaro, so he scores the, the draw and now we have to go onwards the, the second goal. How was your journey up to Castellón? Have you come up on the bus or...? No, I've came uh, by car, and uh, it's uh, it's so comfy, so it was nice. And so, uh, are you going straight back tonight? No, we we uh, going back tomorrow. Yeah. Good, good lad, good lad. Um, uh, because you work for uh, work for Sports Direct Radio. Um, I don't know if you know, but I always talk about Kevin. Yes. Where's Kevin? Where's Kevin? I mean, uh, Kevin is in the veins, <laughs> and I think that. Uh, because of the of the friendly games, it's well deserved that they hit Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm joking, yeah. But, um, anyone impressed you so far in the first half? I I've been quite impressed with Dione, although he missed the penalty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's he's everywhere. Yeah, it's uh, he made a, a a good first half. I mean, there's uh, except the the goalkeeper, it's Alfonso made a yeah. made a three yeah. great or three great saves. Yeah. True, that's uh, and, and Roberto is making a, a good. I like Roberto. The Gary cast don't like him. I like him. <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's uh, a good strike. Okay, yeah. vamos Malaga. Yeah, let's go, vamos Malaga. <laughs> so it's half time here at um, the Castellon Stadium, which I always forget the name of. Um, what's it called? New, new, new Estadi uh, Castellia. I think I've got that right, actually. Um, I think it's been a game of 50 50, really, isn't it? It's, it's like Malaga of. I think Malaga probably been the better team. Um, I really like Dione. Dione seems to be just everywhere. Um, really impressed me. He's not just a big ball, he's striker. You know, the Ruben Castro we talked about. Um, he's everywhere. Um, and I'm really enjoying Sangali. Um, nice to have a bit of luck, miss a penalty, and Gennaro score, um, which I didn't realise at the time until I just spoke to our pals at Sport Direct Radio and... Uh, yeah, great. Um, yeah, just quite good. Good, nothing exciting. Bring on Kevin. Bring on Kevin. So I've just recorded some sort of nonsense for uh, the Gary Cast live stream. God knows what I said there. Um, basically, put my uh, camera in people's faces. That was fun. Um, but all good. Um, second half about to kick off. Um, trying to work out if anyone else has come on the pitch. No one's jumping out of me. Danny Sanchez is on apparently, that's good. Um, yeah, the way in still getting itself together. Um, all good. I think we can do oh dear oh dear Castellon have already got a good chance here great great defending oh no yes yes great we've got a foul some Castellon fans coming over to the Malaga away end punching the railing quite funny um, Herrero's down and actually this they're calling medics on and stuff I hope oh, oh. This is okay. Um, both actually, both players are down bad, and the play, all the players are screaming for the stretcher. 
this does not look good. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, to the extent that I probably should stop recording. So the Castellon player has been rushed off, like, and really rushed off in the stretcher. So I don't know what what's happened, but um, obviously, wish him all the best. Um, Malaga's goalie uh, Herrero is back on his feet. Looks a little bit groggy, a, um, a bit disorientated, but uh, yeah, not nice to see that Castellon player uh, rushed off. So we'll see from there. So in the 70th minute, I'm still joined by the legendary Sabatella. I'm mastered out to say it now. Um, how do you think the second half's going? Well, I think it's a bit better. Be not, not only because Malaga is uh, like giving a, a step abroad, but it's uh, true that Castellón can't can be on that level uh, in the physics. So I think now Malaga has to has to be the the starting the the, the the starting of the second half. And I think it's going to be a bit more and a bit more and a bit more till the end. Do you want to describe my face right now? <laughs> what's going? <laughs> well, uh, because of uh, the 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 situation and Kevin Sin, so yeah, okay. uh, you're a bit happier. <laughs> There's a big smile coming across my face. Kevin's on, yes. Um, I think I think we've been the better team, but uh, oh. yeah. Anyway, that was my again. Yeah, let's go. I'm smiling. <laughs> So it's full time here. Um, final whistle just gone. I didn't record the second goal. Um, it looked like a bad defensive mistake, personally. Um, I've been mad again with the slightly better team. Than I've been. Um, I don't think we need to worry. That's my feeling right now. Um, the players are starting to come over now. So maybe I'll talk a bit more on the way out. But it's Castellon, Castellon to Malaguer. So the floodlights of uh, newest study Castellia are behind us now. Well, you know, literally right behind us. Um, they kept us in the ground for a long time. It is, oh, fucking hell, it's 10 past 12. Wow. Um, we've just had one beer in a bar across the street uh, with Castellan fans. Um, I say we again. I'm still joined by Stephen. We are walking through the centre of Castellan. Um, we said earlier this is first experience of a Malaga away game so um, how was it? Very good I thought the police the way we were kept being was like being back in England in the 80s <laughs> fenced in the ground with, surrounded by riot police Yeah like I said to you it was a bit weird because um, we had literally <laughs> been in the supporters bar amongst the Castellon hardcore and we'd been hugging kissing them paying beers in their bar and there was no problem so I sort of initially thought okay I understand why we kept behind for a minute or two but it was literally like half an hour it was really weird um, the game any any thoughts on the game not too bad but disappointed that we didn't win but we'll live to come back another day we'll live to come back another day we've got uh, Atletico Madrid bet on Saturday I think that might be uh, um, where we can see where we are um, yeah uh, now we're walking through quite a dark part of Castellon I just realised um, but yeah we might try and find one more beer but it is quarter past twelve um, I'm still tired from I don't know if people know I did all that walking that's a joke by the way Stephen because everyone knows that I did yeah. lots of walking on here because so, you're probably thinking oh is he bragging but this bit um Vamos Malaga Stephen Vamos Malaga Vamos Malaga indeed and oh yeah we should just just before I say goodbye um you are coming to the home game on Saturday yes flying back out again yeah yeah ama and amazing like that's really cool like you're going back and coming back so uh and we'll get you back on the podcast then. So, uh, fun times indeed.
So I'm now walking uh, down the main high street of Castellon. There's an amazing view in front of me at the moment, actually, where um, it started to rain again. Um, there's no one in front of me. There's a, uh, a couple of Castellon fans walking behind me. Uh, there's just street lamps all the way down the street, um, glistening in the rain. Um, this is not a, a, a creative writing task. Because um, I'm not writing. What the fuck am I talking about? Um, but I just thought, final, final thoughts on the night. Um, it's not the night now, it is now. It's almost one o'clock in the morning, but I'm, I'm going back to my hotel now, which is probably wise um, until I see another bar. Um, I've just left Stephen. What a nice guy. Nice to spend time with him tonight. Um, he wanted to stay out drinking, was And I was like, ah, I'm still. <laughs> I, I didn't really. I didn't really sleep on the way to Valencia. I, 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 I actually, that that's that's uh, an understatement. I did not sleep on the way. So yesterday, I had zero sleep, um, and then got up nine o'clock this morning. That was a nice sleep. Um, but yeah, I, I guess the point I want to make, like uh, football fan to me. Just, oh God! In my head, there's something philosophical here. But I just wanted to say it was really, really nice today where um, we got into the Peña Bar with uh, lots of Malaga fans and Castellon fans did not care. Uh, the people running it, like, were just saying, like, you know, we've signed up to join the Peña um, and they didn't care. Um, and, yeah, it was just lovely and just sort of... Um, yeah, my, probably my highlight of the night, actually. Um, actually, one of my favourite... It, it will stick with me, this football memory. And um, anyone that's listened to this podcast and maybe even more on the other podcasts, I do Platini play for Kuwait. Go and listen to that if you haven't already. Um, just There was a point where Malaga fans were just chanting, cast on, cast on, cast on. And then it reversed to, you know... Just the young fans trying to Malaga, 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 Malaga. And then it's sort of, we all joined together, jumping around, singing, Let, let's get promoted together. It was, um, it was really nice, and uh, everyone was hugging each other. And, everyone, and like I, I said to uh, Stephen, like, look, look at these guys. I said, like, these guys are having a photo together. These guys are hugging. These guys are um, sucking each other off. They weren't really, that's a, that's a metaphor. Um, is that a metaphor? I don't know. Um, there was no one sucking each other off. Um, literally, no one literally sucking each other off. That that might have ended in a uh, an arrest. But uh, uh, yeah, um, glad, you know, good to see the Gary Cast live stream did quite well. Um, my half time spiel. I, I, it's a bit of a crossover here. I feel like. Uh, I can't remember what I said on that and what I said on this. So it's a bit messy. Um, yeah, it's been good. Um, I think we'll be okay. I think Malaga will be okay is my final words. We're, I'm jumping all over the place here, aren't I? Um, yeah, I just realised I'm walking down Castillon High Street. And, oh no, it's this way. It's, this way. Uh, it's raining. Um... But, you know, I'm being all emo about it and being like, oh, I like walking in the rain, but I actually am enjoying walking in the rain here. Yeah. Um, God, am I going to carry on recording this tomorrow? Because I'm going I'm to watch Valencia tomorrow. Um, yeah, I guess so. Right, now I'm going to have to go because I've, I've hit this up. And there's some Castillon fans shouting behind me. I hope they're not shouting. Let's beat up that dickhead Welsh Malaga fan that's walking in front of us but really I'm a little bit lost now so I'm going to have to go bye so I am now back in Valencia it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon I am in a bar um, well in the bar of my hostel um, Shania Twain's you're still the one I love is playing in the background and that's still the case with Malaga um, you know, you lost last night. I still, I still love you guys. Um, been reading quite a lot of the sort of Twitterati and all that sort of stuff this morning. Uh, but quite a lot of mixed views, which 
I think it's fair enough because I think that game last night could have been interpreted a lot of ways. I think it was chaotic and mad. I still think we could have won. I still think we were the better team in the second half and um, I think we went for it but probably went for it a bit too late. Um, and then obviously they caught us out. I'd have to um, see in the goal back. I, I can't remember who the defender is, misses our header, um, but uh, not good. Um, but yeah, I'm right next to the, the river, inverted commas, in Valencia. Um, for those who haven't been to Valencia, the, riv- the river is basically a huge park now, and it, it's incredible what they've done with it. Um, it's a masterclass in redirecting a river and turning it into a park. Um, but the other side of the river is Mastaya. So, um, you know, I won't talk too much about that. I did a lot of recording yesterday. I'll perhaps try and record something from Mastaya, maybe something after the game. Um, but yeah, um, reflections on the game last night with a little bit more of a sober head. And I still think we were, I still feel quite the same as I did when I had lots of alcohol in me. Um, Maybe I've still got that alcohol in me, though. Um, I just thought we were quite good. Um, that doesn't seem to be what many people thought, but I thought we were all right. It's uh, ironing things out. I still think Castle are, are going to be one of the best teams in the league. Um, and I think we, you know, we, we could have beat them away. Um, I think uh, next weekend when we play a Atletico Madrid B team is going to be where, you know, if we if we struggle against them, then I might go, hmm, okay, maybe there are concerns here. But uh, yeah, I, I guess the other thing is, I, I think I tweeted saying all I want this season to be is fun. And watching that game last night, I my first thoughts are this is going to be fun. So I am having a drink of beer there, um, thinking of all that fun. Um, but yeah. I'm going to head down to the other side of the river in a bit. Inverted commas river again. Um, yeah, I probably should need to find out where to go pretty much. Um, I'm going to try and go to that famous bar, which I forgot the name of. Yeah, this is going to be good, isn't it? Mastaya, wow. Castellon Stadium is great, by the way, which I think I probably said last night. But Mastaya, I'm very excited about this. I am now in the shadow of Mastaya. It's about two hours till kickoff. Um, I've been outside the stadium before when I was in Valencia before. I had a bit of a wander just to sort of see where Swansea had that famous 3 0 win um, 10 years or so ago. Um, it was impressive then, but I don't know when there's fans around and stuff. Fucking hell. What a. I'm outside it and it's still just so impressive. Um, and it's really good, lots of bars around it. Um, as you can probably hear now, you might even be able to hear the, the PA system. Um, not Tanoi, because Tanoi is a brand name um, playing. And, you know, I'm sitting outside a bar. It's great. Um, I'm really excited to get in there. It's a bit sort of a funny one for me, because as a kid, like Valencia were like really cool growing up, and they had, you know, Pablo Aymar and um, uh, Mendieta, Ruben Baraja, who is now the manager. David Albert. I'm actually, literally, they've got all these people's faces right in front of me. They're all across the stadium. I, I seem to remember this when I visited the void. I'd say, perhaps more than any other stadium I've ever been to. I'm trying to think of, I guess Arsenal have done something similar, um, where their history is so celebrated on the outside. Um, it's awesome. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting in there. There's no like, big stars to see tonight, really. Um, looking forward to seeing uh, uh, Javi Guerra because I know he's sort of the golden boy at the moment and I um, should say Valencia were meant to struggle this year and they've won um, have they won all their games or do they draw one they've, they've had a good start two wins I think um, I was very excited about seeing um, Jimmy Avila for Osasuna but him being him he got himself sent off last week with a stupid tackle so I won't be seeing him um yeah, there's no players I have a real, real strong affection for playing for either team. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, my heart's there for the taking, guys. If there's anyone who wants to jump out, I'm there now. But I'm really looking forward to getting inside. Um, like I said, two hours before kickoff, all the bars are quite full already. Lots of us to see the fans, good to see. Um, yeah, 
nice relaxed trip after you know last night's less relaxed game. So I'm here in the Mastaya. Um, it's half time actually, it's one nil to us this um, I can now say I've seen Imar score the Mastaya, the legend. Legendary name here, but it's uh, Aymar Oroz for Osasuna to a penalty. Um, so we've got the most valuable. Well, I'll just go back and it's really windy. Um, I'm really, really um, 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 I have a lot of sort of chats about football grounds with people, and I've been fortunate to go to a lot. And I regularly get asked, What's your favourite? and I said, Well, you know, I start asking what your favourite album is or favourite film. It's sort of my answer change all the time. But fucking hell, Mastaya would be in the mix. What a stadium! What a stadium! Um, definitely come here if you are in the area. Um, it's not expensive. I think my ticket was twenty five euros. I'm towards the top, but what the view? What the view? And I'm scared of heights, and so I'm enjoying it. Um, it's quite tough coming up the steps, actually, though. Um, and I'm not, I'm sort of in the concourse now, the concourse looks over the edge, and I'm right to the edge now. Yep, don't bother that. <laughs> really don't bother that. Uh, good pre match as well. Um, weirdly, I've just seen a guy in a Malaga shirt. Um, I didn't know what to do, so I slapped the badge on his shirt and said, Vamos Malaga. And he looked at me as if I'd. Uh, so I think he thought I was taking the piss out of him when actually I was just being like, oh my god, there's a man of a Um Yeah, it's good. Good game, yeah. Um, see the second half, please. Um, god, what a stadium. What a stadium. Jen, it must be. I'm going to be careful here because La Rosaleda is obviously the best. This must be the best stadium in Spain. Apart from La Rosaleda. Incredible. So I'm now just walking, um, still actually under Mastaya really, it's towering over me, which is, again, what a stadium, what a stadium, um, you have to go if you are in this part of the world, um, Valencia have just lost 2-1 though, um, they were the much better team for me, um, also soon they got a penalty and then um, to go 1-0 up, then Valencia, you know, rightfully equalised to make it 1-1 in the 80th minute I think. Um, and then also soon it's got a 94th minute winner um, acrobatic scissor kick in the box to finish um, which is quite you know as a neutral you like seeing goals like that um, that's good I particularly liked um, yeah I'm just going to talk about the stadium a bit more um, particularly like Mastaya um, at night when Things got darker and the lights came on and like the pictures all lit up, but the um, the stands were all really dark. It was really cool. Um, atmosphere was quite good, I guess. You know, um, not like incredible, but good. Um, yeah, visit my style. So we are now last recording of this episode um, two days after Malaga lost away at Castellon a day after I went to Valencia um, but I did press record I did start this podcast in the much celebrated gastronomic city of San Sebastian a city that's like just unbelievably beautiful very cultural rich heritage There's the Basque sort of identity there Binchos um so we're finishing in the complete opposite. There's a Union Jack flag on the wall. Um, two stag dudes have just left. I'm sitting here by um, the Paseo with my top off just to try and blend in because that's what I think you have to do here. I've got a pint of Amstel in front of me. Of course, I'm in Benidorm. Of course I'm in Benidorm. Um, I'm, a, I'm actually quite a, a strong defender of Benidorm. I, I've been here once before and I had a really, really good time. Um, I'm actually going back to Marbella finally um, tomorrow night. Um, well, I get there the next morning, um, so I've got another day in Benidorm. Um, 
I thought this was quite a fun place to finish. You know, we are the Giri cast. Benidorm is one of the, the capitals of Giri Dum, I would say. Um, yeah, been a really good trip. Um, you know, from the day I arrived in Lisbon, I guess. Um, it's been two months, but uh, this sort of final chapter of the summer of going to watch Malaga in Castellon, um, you know, I've listened back to some of the things I said in the recording and I could say it all again. Um, it was really good night. Um, you know, result aside, I think I think I might have said on the recording, I don't know if I did, but it was a really fun game. League's going to be fun. I think we're going to be fine. Um, you know, keep coming to watch Malaga and listening to the Giri cast. Um, go to Valencia and go to the Mastaya. Just, just incredible. Um, literally one of the best stadiums I've ever been to. And as I've said, I've been to it quite a lot to not blow my own ground hopping trumpet. Um, yeah. So I'm going to finish up with a night in Benidorm to sort of toast the end of my summer holidays. Um, it's great, yeah. It's four o'clock, sun's out. Vamos a uh, me in Benidorm, I guess. I was just going to say a stadium. Um, I did enjoy, by the way, the, how often I doubted myself naming the Castellon Stadium in the bits I listened back to. That was, that was humorous, wasn't it? Um, Oh yeah, and also I listened to some bits. I noticed I got quite a few things wrong. I, I started talking about Danny Sanchez at one point. Didn't play. I think I must see a Danny and got him mixed up with Danny Lorenzo. Um, yeah, so you know, just that's part of the charm of this podcast, isn't it? A drunk Welsh guy getting things wrong, getting getting people he's met many times, um, getting their name wrong. So apologies for that, Sergio. The first recording which I deleted because I was so embarrassed. Um, but that's it from. I will sign up for Benidorm and yeah, see you all at La Rosaleda soon. Vamos Malaga.